Hi everybody, this is Tuesday with Tuesday's Fun Finds. How are you today? Welcome back and thank you for joining me. This is part two of a two-part Goodwill jewelry lot unbagging. If you're interested in any of the items in today's video, you can email me at TuesdaysFunFinds at gmail.com. Okay, let's get started. All right, here we go with this first bag. Mm, pretty. Um, so right away, I'm seeing this piece, and I'm going to pull it out because this matches the bracelet that I believe we had, and it does. This is really nice. Okay, so this is a Chico's. Um, new with tag, gorgeous. I am very, very happy with this. This is in great condition. It has that um, more of a look, I think, that's in style. The bracelet, I believe, um, was more of this, had this um, look to it. Okay, I really like this. This is great. Yeah, yeah like it all right that's a good way to start let's see what else we can find okay this does not have a hang tag okay i don't see any mm, yeah this is mm, i don't know if you guys can tell but this is really dirty foggy can you see how foggy that is um you know, I could probably get this cleaned up, but, um, you know, I just, no, I don't think I am. This is going to go into a craft lot. All right, here, moving on to the next. This is pretty. So this has got like a copper finish. Um... Some really cool beads. These are fun. Um, you know, and sometimes this copper finish kind of gets, um, oh, I don't know how, dirty. It, 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 I don't know how else to describe it. Um, but it gets to be, you know, it darkens. And it gets to look more um, of a dark brown than a copper. I don't know how else to explain it. But, um these are fun. I think this is really neat. I think that it's got plenty of wear left. Um, yeah, this is fun. Okay. Neat. Moving on to the next. Okay. I don't see any hang tags so far. The clasp itself is very clean. Okay, oh, this is neat. Um, but these are all knotted in uh, very well. This is really nice. I'm liking this a lot. Very nice, it's got very um, warm tones to it. These are like an orangish brown, more like an amber color. Um, and these are black and gold with some, I mean, this is really pretty, silver. Um, I really like it. Yeah, this is fun. Okay. All right, moving on. See what else we can pull out of here. Okay, this is interesting. Why? Hmm. Oh, okay. So this is a double strand. This is very, very, very sparkly. I love it. Can you see the way that the, yeah, that's nice. So these are brown, amber toned. Um, I don't see any maker's mark on this. 
Now, I would say that these are plastic. These are not glass. Um, I would say that these are definitely plastic. All right, let's see what else we can pull out of here. Okay, and the rest thing, we've got, um, it's not a lion, it's not a tiger, I don't think. Oh my goodness, we are just tangled, tangled, tangled. All right, let's see. This feels dirty. Um, I don't see any maker's mark on it. Okay, moving on. I see red. This, um, okay, so I've had, I'm gonna, before I look at this tag, I'm thinking this is Charm and Charlie's because I've thrifted um, a new Charming Charlie's necklace not too long ago. And this is actually reminds me of it. It's lightweight, um, but yet, you know, nice. Um, so we'll see if I'm right. Let's go look. Okay, no. <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> I was totally wrong. I'm not sure who this is. If you guys know who this maker is, let me know, because I don't. Um, okay, so to give you a description of this, this is lightweight. Um, it's got very minimal wear. Um, very cute. Very much a statement piece. Let's see if we have everything. Um, it appears to be all here. I don't think anything is missing. So there's minimal wear on it. Um, the clasp is showing more wear than the rest. It's cute. I'll list a price on the screen. And then hopefully I will learn what this mark is. Okay. Moving on. Okay. What is this? Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Got it untangled faster than what I thought. So that's good. Okay. So this one also feels very light. There is a lot of wear. I don't feel like this um, is resellable. You can see that this um, plastic uh, bead is coming off. Um, it's just very, very worn. And this will be going into a craft lot. Okay, come on. I feel like so far, we've had, well, we've had a few good things so far, but I'm getting disappointed as we go here. All right. This, at first, seems to be um, J. Crew, a J. Crew look, um, but yet small. So, in other words, these pieces normally on a J. Crew necklace are bigger, um, and they're not on this one. Um, it looks like we may have all of our rhinestones on it. Um, there is some wear. I'm taking a look at the back. And I'm looking for a mark on here, just in case. So there's, there's some wear. There's, especially on the chain. You can see where the gold is kind of turning a little bit um, silver, I guess. <laughs> Um, but I'll list a price if anybody wants it. Um, if not, to be honest, this is, I don't think this would be sellable on eBay. And I'll be putting this in a craft lot as well. Okay, come on. Let's see. What else do we have here? All right. Um, we have a very long necklace that's showing very, very big signs of wear. I don't think this is getting any better. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, very long. Silver toned necklace. I'm looking for a clasp. This is clean. Oh, look, we've got a 
clasp and it also has a tag, Monet. This could actually go with the bracelets that we had in my last video. Um, this is still very clean. I like it. It's very, very long. You could double it and have a double look. You could also possibly triple it, I would say, maybe, and have a triple look. I like that. I think this is sweet. Okay. All right, moving on. What are you? You are, okay, this is definitely a choker. I don't see any marks. Um, I do think this is cute, but there is a lot of wear, unfortunately. Um, and this is definitely going to be going into a craft lot. Sorry, guys. Okay. We have a wired necklace that has a hang tag. Let's take a look at those. And this is marked. Hmm. Let's see. Hold on. Monet. Not bad. You know, the wired, the wired necklaces are not my favorite, to be honest with you. I've never worn them. Um you know, if anyone's interested in this, um, I'll put a price on the screen because it lays pretty good. It's not really misshapen, so I think it's okay. Um, but I'll put a price on the screen if anybody would like that. Put that on there. Okay, this is the last piece from that first bag. And I don't see any markings. Silver toned. I like the look. Um, we've got some gunmetal going on. We've got some clear, um, probably plastic crystal looking like um, charms that are hanging off of there. This is okay. This is all right. I'll put a price on the screen for that if anybody is interested. Okay, all right, let's move on to the second bag. Looks like we have more necklaces. Um, I'm going to pull this out because this has got my attention for sure. Um, hey, Billy, let's go this way maybe. Yes, okay. Um, Okay, so this is very light. Um, this feels not quite like leather. Um, we've definitely got some gunmetal look going on here. And um, gosh, you guys. Okay, so these are... Um, mm, very light, like it's almost like, uh, oh, I'm struggling, I am so sorry. <laughs> These are like foam pieces, like puffy foam pieces. Um, this is an excellent condition for what it is. Very interesting, very neat. Um, definitely nothing I have ever seen before. All the rhinestones seem to be there, um, very different. And I would say this is definitely a choker style or it lays at the very bottom of your neck. Um, definitely different and fun. Lightweight and very clean. I, I just, that's, that's neat. I've just never seen anything like it before. Okay, moving on. Let's see. Okay. Oh, 
All right, we'll do that one. We'll do this one first. This um, has got some tarnishing, lightweight, springy-ish. Hmm. Let's see if it's magnetic. It looks like, oh, there is a hang tag. I just seen it. What does this say? Oh, is this Premier Designs? Is that a crown? I think this may be Premier Designs. And I think they used to um, sell these with pendants that hung from here. So to be honest with you, this may actually clean up with some cleaner. Next, this thing is shiny, 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 shiny. Um, seems to be very, very clean. Oh, 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 and the back side is gold toned. Okay, silver tone, gold tone. I... I'm stumped again. I've never seen a necklace like this before. It's got a beautiful pendant with some awesome rhinestones, super shiny. This pendant seems appears to be silver toned. <laughs> and it's one of my faves, Leah Sophia. Yay. Now I know why it's awesome. <laughs> okay, super fun. I did not know that they had a silver tone, gold tone necklace that could be very versatile. So that is very, very neat. Fun. Happy with that. Okay, moving on. I see some brown beads, natural beads. This is definitely a vintage clasp. Um, the rhinestones are in the clasp. I'm looking to see if there's any markings, and I don't see any. And hopefully I can put this back in correctly, you guys. Oof. Um, hmm. I don't, I think I'm doing that right. Yes, okay. Um... See the ties in between each of the beads. These are a lot of fun. All different sizes. Very nice. I like it a lot. And the length is a pretty good length. Okay. Um, let's see. This is very lightweight. I like the looks of this bead. It's very interesting. Um, let's see, I thought I seen a tag. And I do. Um, I think this was, hmm, is it Dana? I believe this maker's mark is Dana Bachman, maybe, if my memory serves me right. Um, but very lightweight. I don't remember the last piece that I found of, of that maker was this light. But that's still very neat, fun. I like it. Let me put this on here. Okay, let's see what you are. Okay. This is definitely a statement piece and I really like it. Um, these are actually almost like shell beads. Um, we've got some silver tone, some um, plastic crystal-like beads with this floral um, enamelish looking um, Piece that's in the center or the side of the necklace seems to be very clean and this looks like it's 
New York and Company and why I think I think this is very pretty um, and very clean I like that a lot looks good okay a few more let's see um, I'm really liking this but I can't seem to get to it at the moment but <gasps> Ooh, what do we have here? This is marked the limited. It kind of had a J. Crew look to it, but this chain is definitely different than what I have seen on J. Crew pieces. So this is really neat. Um, I think that everything is here. This is really pretty. Let's see what the back looks like. Oh yes, very clean, you guys. This is very nice, in great condition. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I like this chain. Definitely different. Not used to what I'm, or I'm not, you know, based off the J. Crew pieces. That one's definitely different, but yet has a lot of similarities. Okay, let's see here. What is this? Okay. Now, this seems to be an older style um, of a necklace. I don't see any makers, mark, or tag, um, but very clean. I think it's cute. Um... I'm looking at all the different beads. This one, now see this has got some wear on that bead, on that silver tone bead. Um, let's see, the rhinestones are there. I mean, this has definitely got some wear left in it. I'll put a price on the screen if anybody's interested in that. Oh my goodness, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Is this one piece? No way. Oh my gosh. Okay. What does this say? C, B, no, this is not a C, B. Oh boy, you guys. I'm going to have to look this one up because I have never seen this before. Um, okay, so let's see if this whole thing is one piece. I am not for sure. Oh, no, this can't be. This is a separate necklace. Okay, shoo, I thought, wow, that is heavy. Okay, oh, good. I got that separated. This is one, two, three, four, five strands. This is fun. I think this is very, very neat. Um... This is definitely a gunmetal look. Um, heavy. This feels heavy. It feels like um, very good quality. And I'm definitely going to have to learn and see what maker tag this is. Okay. Hmm. Very nice. I like that. Okay. Wow, that's pretty. The more that I look at it, the more I touch it, the more I like it. Okay, here's the last piece, you guys. Let's see what we've got. This says, what does this say? Okay, this may be another one that I'm gonna, ink, I-N-C, I-N-C. Oh my goodness, let's see if, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Okay, so it looks like this is hanging from the very last, let me put it here. So this is definitely a short necklace um, with an extension, extender. This is very, very pretty. Gorgeous, let's look at the back. I'm 
made very well. I think this is excellent quality, very clean. Okay, guys. So there's quite a few pieces that I like, this one being one of them. I'm gonna learn something about that. Um, then, of course, my other favorite piece um, is definitely this Leo Sophia because, you know, I like her stuff. And I love that this is reversible. And then I would definitely say this Chico's piece that matches the bracelet from my last video. And then I am, this one's intriguing. I'm gonna have to learn, I'm gonna have to learn about this one too. So thanks for joining me today again, and I sure hope that you enjoyed the time with me. Remember that if you're interested in any of these items from today, you can email me at TuesdaysFunFinds at gmail.com. Um, send me um, what you'd like, along with your name, your address, and I'll send you an invoice. And um, I can't wait until the next video. Believe it or not, I think the video after that may be some purses. Super excited about that. Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.